What is going on everybody? Right here playing some Scrub Nautica. Today I thought it would be fun if we take this little exosuit demo out for a run, kind of just go on a little adventure. See, I could I could take damage, I could suffocate. It's generally a real game except for experimental with dev commands because that's the only way to get this little hunk of metal. So yeah, I just generally thought it'd be fun to go on a little adventure in this thing. And um, we do have energy. Energy can run out. That is an issue. I'm not quite sure I remember how to. I think we just need um, one of those things. I just need to find Titan Dong around here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I am going to start suffocating a lot. Haven't had to worry about that in a little bit. At least we don't have to worry about that in the exosuit. Thank God this thing's at least that advanced. But yeah, I'm, um, I'm not quite sure how to re-up the energy. I think we just need those energy capsules or whatever they're called. I can't, I'm, I'm blanking pretty hard right now. Um, I wish I did this in a saved game almost. That way I could just go to Titan Dong, freaking our Seamoth, our, our Cyclops, and just repair and rebuild everything there. But again, it gets rather heartbreaking. God, the descending on this thing is so cool. But it gets rather heartbreaking just doing everything on your series and then another big update comes out and you have to remake the game and it's just, it gets, but I just, I just don't want to create a whole nother survival series, which I'm aching for so bad until they're going to slow down on updates a weeny teeny bit. Between this computer, like my new one, and my old one, I have like two games that I just can't go back to because they're so behind on updates, it's ridiculous. And I, I spent so much time on them. What the fuck is going on here? This, <laughs> I've never seen these things mobile before, let alone breakdancing. I think breakdancing is the general vibe here though. Ooh, I shoulda, shoulda armed myself a little better. Oh my god, yeah, see, one of them spit, he is spitting at me while he's rolling. Holy shit, that is the most agile ninja cucumber. So usually they just sit still like this, that's like their, their nature, that's what they do, but this guy, this is like the next evolutionary step right here, we gotta watch out for him. I'm going to die here, either suffocate or from damage, Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Ooh, um, bone sharks, we just passed one, bone sharks are getting like new voice add-on, or new sound effects, they just, they just got that added on, alright cool, I just got a freaking cyclops in here. Because we're gonna need one, and it's honestly I don't mind remaking the Cyclops because all I gotta do is strap a name on it, and then it feels like my same old home. But yeah, we're gonna need a builder and constructor for this. Oh man, I wish there was some way to set follow with your Cyclops or Seamoth or anything really, so it could just generally tail behind you. That would be amazing. At least we get an opportunity to try out these new lockers. Look at that fanciness right there. I do, I do like these a little more than the than the original ones because I feel like these would just generally clunk in together much better. Yeah, see, they fit. Obviously, that's not a good fit. That gets in the way of the doorway. It's just an example. But it's a lot prettier, I feel like. Plus, you're going to get to label them stuff, put my balls in here, see? All right, here's what I believe we will be needing. Nope, not reinforcements. Nope, nope, you silly goose. What are you thinking? Right here, power cells. That's what we're going to be needing to power the exosuit. I'm fairly certain. Either that or it just automatically recharges, which would be fan-fucking-tastic. I think we'd have some kind of solar power swag going on that, but since it is for deep sea exploration, it wouldn't make much sense. I don't really have a set color for my channel. Like, I don't really, my, my, my name is just kind of written in the Irish flag, because my ancestors came from Ireland. Well, most of them. Well, now it just kind of looks like... a lot like Jacksepticeye's. Well, I guess that's inevitable. He is Irish, and there is... You make a Titan Dong, or you make a Titan, you make a Cyclops green, it's gonna look like all of the green Cyclopses, but I kind of, I kind of want to mix that up a little. I almost want to leave it white right now. I almost don't even want to care about this at all, because this is like not the point of the video in the slightest. There, whatever you ended up being is what I'm settling with, you gorgeous bastard. All right, I'll take it. That fine orange trim. Hey, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we were getting power cells for the fucking exosuit. Jesus. You notice I have these earphones on instead of my Turtle Beaches. That's usually a, um... A good giveaway that it's it's bordering a hundred degrees outside. It's like June now, freaking Southern California, damn near the equator. It gets torturous, so I get slightly delirious just trying to ignore the sweat beating down my forehead. And I have to thank God these turtle beaches are like using fucking earmuffs, son. When it's hot out, it's just torture. Ooh, okay, we're breaking on the forest. Kind of bare right here. Very bare. There we go. It's slowly rendering. It's look like from the red grassy plain to the forest biome, we just get a little mix of nothingness here. That's weird how that would happen. That's like funny almost, like what are the odds? Oh cool, we could just, oh we could ascend again, oh my god, hell yeah. Can we? No we can't. Last time I got on it was just more of a glide down effect, like some Buzz Lightyear shit, but um, you got me kind of excited there, because the first time I tried this, or in like a couple weeks, it was all glitched to um, 
to, to let me fly permanently, which was of course not part of the game. I'm going to die here, because I totally haven't dealt with radiation in like a good month. This is no bueno. So stupid of me right here. It's exactly why we have Titan Dong over there. Ooh, look at those two. A beautiful husband and wife just are, or two husbands for all I know, shit, or brothers and sisters. I don't know why I'm trying to generalize them. Two creatures out for a stroll. God, everything's so sensitive now. <laughs> Regardless, that's beautiful to see. I'm, I'm really happy they're not hostile, because that would immediately change my emotions right now. This game really needs to implement babies, though. Babies and different sized creatures. Like, you could find giant reef bags, tiny ones, and the same, like, for every other creature. I would just make it so special. Especially if you could tame them, you would just have to own the biggest and smallest of everything. Okay, now I am using no cost right now, because again, I'm not I'm not in an actual series, because they keep updating it so damn fast. So I'll go radiation suit, and they don't have any armored yet. They talk about bringing armored suits in on the freaking forums, but they have not implemented that. I can't freaking wait for that, though. That's going to be so cool. Of course, if you have an armored suit, that means there's something to be armored from. And then you got shit to worry about. Alright, I don't really need a compass and the other thing. That's their a death meter, whatever the hell it is. It's not really in my to-do list right now. Where the hell did Exosuit go? I'm gonna name you Freddy Mercury. Holy shit, you just saved my life, Freddy. That was crazy. Oh my god. Alright, cool. The Exosuit is a fucking suit of armor. See, we already have it, kinda. Had I have been outside this thing, though, I would have been fucked completely. I do wish it moved faster, though. We're like, steady walking to the bottom of the ocean. I guess it's not nearly in the game yet, or I don't know how far along, but as this prototype I'm using right now is not what it's going to look like whatsoever, I assume, but you'd think on the uh, Cyclops there'd be some kind of exosuit dock, so you could just get to some creepy area and then drop down in your exosuit, just paratroop down in your futuristic costume. This render is a little worse, that's actually really trippy. <laughs> it's Almost makes me wish some of these plants blinked on and off with lights. That's, that would look quite cool. Okay, what do we got going on down here? We don't really have much to worry about in Subnautica. There's like maybe like three creatures who will try and kill you. Or four. Or much more in the future, but only two of them are in the game now. I was thinking about stalkers and bone sharks, but no, there's also sand sharks or whatever those are called. And of course the reaper and leviathan are sea emperor, but those aren't in the game yet. Neither are like a crab squid or all those suckers. But speaking of all this, totally reminded me that I would like a stalker pet right now. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, you don't have the peepers out first, you jackass. Oh my god, and you spawned them all over there. This is all gone, so okay, okay, it's, oh, it's gonna lag out if I do it in here though, I just know it. I'll jump up in the air, hop out, item, item peeper, ten, there we go, now, no, you dumbasses are supposed to go in my, in my inventory. Everything has failed me, everything. <laughs> Okay, I guess we don't need that many. Now, where did that stalker? Holy shit, there he is. Okay. Now, the stalkers are... I don't even know why I want to tame one of these right now. I just kind of want to have a pet buddy with me. It gets lonely down here on these deep sea expeditions, for sure. But, they're just motherfuckers, though. Because the second you don't have enough peepers to feed them, they turn around and start attacking you. And that's some cold-blooded shit I don't really want on my journey. But, seeing as how you're the only guy that's here, just come on, get your ass on over here. We came from over there. I don't want to go up here because it's higher. I want to go lower. Damn, he can barely keep up. I guess this exosuit is faster than I had thought. Holy shit, something just smacked the hood. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, we can't stand on these. They just all fall beneath us. Holy shit. That was a massacre right there. <laughs> I kind of really hoped I could just land on one all daintily like a freaking Jesus. The sound of a fish hitting your hood. Eesh, just sounds... Well, it sounds just like a fish hitting your hood. But it's like a creepy sound. I don't want to feel flesh smacking our, our window every time we walk into something. Alright, we are now down in the bottom. Um, we appear to be around geyser territory. Nope, that's a sand shark for sure. God, everything just render. Render already so it's all permanently pretty. There we go. Where'd our stalker friend go? Alright, well the stalker's gone, but this is tripping me out right here, because it looks like there is a geyser here, but just down beneath. What if I dig down to it? Would that do anything? We see- okay, well, this isn't digging like it used to. Oh man, I'm gonna suffocate. These rules. Ooh, if we could equip a repulsion cannon or propulsion cannon, either one would work, onto the exosuit, that would be so friggin' cool. Alright, now where is this shit all shooting up from? I feel like if I dig down right here, I'll find a geyser, won't I? 
Won't I? I definitely need some oxygen. I was about to die down there. But there's definitely fire down there for sure. We just discovered some underground geyser that just lets out through the floor. Which is rather trippy. This is why the terraformer is badass. Now if we go down there, are we going to be able to get back up? Because there's no way I could go down by myself. I have 10 health left. I don't have any med packs on me. We are now descending in the exosuit. This is exactly why we wanted this thing. Oh, it's so pretty down here. It's always so pretty in these underground hidden subnautica caves. Untouched by human hands. Can we fit through here? God damn it, we cannot. All right, this... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is exactly why they keep mentioning putting a drill arm on the um, exosuit, because you can't really do shit. Oh, it does go down deeper, however. <gasps> Ooh, it's so pretty down here. It's all like... Lava burnt walls. Looks like a dragon's house. I would expect to find dragons here. Of course, lava shoots up from the ground. Can we get in that little hole right there? Worth a shot. We can't, but there's nothing here for us. Get the fuck back out of there. Oh my god, I can't believe the exosuit just hustled out of there like that. This thing is perfect. Now, can we go down here? Oh my god. Oh, we can't. I was gonna say this thing is... Holy shit. No bueno. That's what I was trying to avoid right here. Of course, it gets pitch black all of a sudden. There's lava right there through the wall. This place is ghetto as shit. All right, just clear a little path for the buddy. There we go, which will entirely be able to be done on survival because all oh, that plant is so gorgeous. Because obviously you can always terraform no matter where you are. Wow, these things are quite beautiful, but they lead me to believe that we're making our way to the Grand Reef right now, which, um, which is not a bad thing, because that shit's super gorgeous and very deep down. We might have screwed ourselves coming in here. Not going to lie. I don't know if we're going to be able to get out of here. <laughs> not even sure how to get out of here. Really? Ooh, but here's the way to go. This is the way we came, isn't it? 120%, 150%, okay. So we descend down deep out. That little hole right there looks super unexplored. That could have been misconstrued as a very inappropriate thing to say. Man, this thing needs a terraformer on its arm. It would make this so much easier. I swear to God. All right, so we found what appears to be a little gold stash. Am I correct? Yep, gold erwer. This kind of shit right here comes in handy, especially since I remember back in the day when you could first make the freaking Cyclops. It was just like two metal, five gold, and something else. And gold was super hard to find, so this would have been an insane jackpot right here. They've changed the crafting recipe a lot since I started playing. They've, there's been, I started playing like the week it came out and there's been updates every week since, so you can probably see why I'm holding off a little bit on the survival series at the moment. It's been a while. Okay, how the fuck do we get out of here? I did not, okay, so, okay, so a, a compass probably would have come in handy. I'm stupid. All right, we didn't go this way back. We haven't tried this way yet. I swear to God, if that lava pours out from the ceiling, that would be so epic and terrifying at the same time. I wonder how this thing does with heat resistance. Seems to be doing pretty good right here. Damn, son, this thing is fucking strong. I wonder if they just haven't implemented that yet, though. So I don't know why this thing... Actually, we are in a, a mech suit built for, like, exploration. We might be very heat resistant. I'm not trusting it, though, because every time I believe something's going on with the exosuit, turns out it's just an, uh, hasn't been updated yet, and I'm just being an idiot. But not gonna lie, if it could fly like it did forever in that other video of mine, that would have been pretty freaking cool. Alright, we're getting out of there. Hell yeah. Oh shit, and there's the exit. We can continue on our journey. This was super cool. I'm so happy you could just pop holes in the floor and dive down in your mech suit now. This game is going in the right direction. We continue on our journey. Um, this appears to be a descent over here. Ooh, the Koosh biome. This is still the Koosh biome, right? Everything's changing on me. Suddenly things I used to call something are no longer that, but this looks very Koosh-ish. We turn on nitrogen, we can now die in this kind of place. Well, maybe. Not. I'm not sure about the exosuit. I think it's just you get used to the nitrogen build down here that when you rush up to the surface it kills you. I think that's what it is. Don't quote me on it. But I'm hoping the exosuit will protect from such things. One thing I've failed to, um to work with this entire time is the energy. I'm at 9% energy right now, and I'm pretty sure it only repairs from leaving it still, like for hours at a time, because I don't see a place to replace anything around here, right? Yeah, look how, look how freaking unintroduced this thing is right now. It's like they're not even 
They're not even freaking tanks, like it's just lines. Everything is still so. This is clearly just a, a pure skeleton exosuit. Oh, funny, it's a skeleton exosuit of an exosuit. That's, I see what they did there. I'm gonna die. Shit ass. Um, the energy was at 8%. I think it was at 7 before. Was it? Am I losing my mind? Did you energize? Not even sure how a human would go about driving one of these things. Oops, still at 8. Son of a bitch. Alright. In the spirit of keeping this video as semi-real as possible, obviously I still cheated a bit. Obviously I cheated by spawning in the exosuit. Actually, you can't even... Can't even do that as of right now, but I wanted to keep it semi-realistic as possible so I could get a general vibe for what deep sea exploration in the exosuit would be like, and I don't want to spawn another and just keep it going. I gotta understand that I have a certain limit with these things. You can't just walk all over the whole world with it. It's for specific exploration, which um, which brings me back to my other point. Can we please get a freaking add-on to the sea moth? Cyclops, not sea moth. I always get the names mixed up. But yes, that would be freaking cool. Unless you already have it planned, in which case I apologize for jumping the gun. Obviously, there's not much implemented for the exosuit right now. But I think I've already covered that about three times in this video. I try to be, um, informative without being redundant. Dude, look how fucking cool this is right here. We're on a little, little koosh bridge. It's about to die out on us. That sucks. Oh no! It just crapped out on us. Oh, but it's still barely in the game so we can keep moving. Of course we can. Nope. Nope, we can't jump anymore. It is crapping out on us. Oh my god. And the Aurora just exploded. Horrible timing. That's insane that they crapped out together though. Like, what are the odds of them? Oh, no. Get back on your ship. Alright, so not sure how long this will be in the game for. This is probably just purely glitched right now. I'm not supposed to do this. But I can't jump anymore. My rockets don't work. So that's, that's at least registering. It is, however, letting me walk forever, which is kind of silly, but shit, I ain't going to complain. But I am going to end it here because I don't want to just spawn another one. I want to keep this semi-realistic because I just honestly can't wait till survival is back. Oh my god. Yeah, as I'm walking, you could hear it dying and crapping out every step. It's like, there it is again. See, it just keeps, it's just not completely registering that it's dead, just that it's dying. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this little exosuit exploration video, go ahead, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and have a nice day. Peace!